In this video, I'm going to show you how to make jet black frosting, how to add colourful galactic details and sparkling constellations, and how to make this gravity-defying cake topper. I'm using my 4-minute buttercream for this cake, and the recipe link is in the video description. Add black gel colour and you'll need a lot of this, especially if you're starting with plain vanilla buttercream. You'll need a lot less colour if you start with chocolate and cocoa powder, and I've put my link for my black buttercream that won't stain your teeth, which uses those ingredients, in the video description as well. The colour will develop as it sits, so after mixing it in, cover the bowl with a lid or with cling film or saran wrap, and after an hour it will be several shades darker. You can add even more colour if you want, and then cover it again and wait another hour. Frost your cake as normal with the black buttercream and scrape around the cake a few times with a frosting smoother until it's fairly smooth, but don't worry about getting it perfect yet. Now spread on a few dabs of brightly coloured buttercream, like pink and teal and purple and blue. Scrape around the cake once to blend the colours and then touch up any indents in the frosting by spreading on more frosting, either the bright colours or black, depending on how subtle you want the bright colours to be. I made these bright colours using gel colours as well. Scrape around the cake again and the purpose of this is to blend the bright colours into the black, and also to finish smoothing the frosting. After each scrape, touch up any indents, either with black to dull the colours, or add more of the bright colours if you want them to be more intense. When you're happy with the sides of the cake, tidy up the top edge by scraping any overhanging frosting into the middle of the cake, and then swipe it off the cake on your offset spatula. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please click the thumbs up button to like it, and subscribe to my channel for a new cake decorating tutorial every week. As the frosting starts to set, which will happen within about 10 minutes if your cake layers are chilled, any coloured frosting you add won't blend as well with the black frosting, so the patches of colour will be more obvious. Now it's time to add some constellations. I'm using silver luster dust for this, mixing it with a few drops of vodka or any other clear alcohol will work too, or a clear extract, like lemon extract or artificial vanilla extract. Mix it to make a thick paint and then flick your paintbrush towards the cake, stopping it just before the cake to let the silver paint spray out over the cake. I like to tap the paintbrush against a finger to stop it suddenly and create the spray. If you don't use that extra finger, the motion you're using is a quick flick, how you would cast a spell with a magic wand. You can use white icing colour for this, instead of silver paint. Remember to do this on the top of the cake as well. Wipe any smudges of frosting or silver paint off the cake board using a paper towel wrapped around your finger. I show how to make this gorgeous black heart topper out of chocolate in my tutorial on geometric hearts, and I've put the link in the top of the screen and in the video description. When it sets, poke a toothpick or wooden skewer into the bottom of the heart for support, and before adding it to the cake, pull apart some candy floss or cotton candy to make it nice and fluffy and cloud-like, and then place that on top of the cake. Push the heart on its stick into the middle of the cotton candy to skewer that in place, and to conceal the stick so it looks like the cotton candy and the heart are floating above the galaxy cake. Rearrange it by pinching it and pulling it apart to make it fluffier. And there it is! A stunning galaxy cake with a gravity-defying cake topper. For cake inspiration and to learn all sorts of techniques and designs, join my club for access to all of my online classes from just $5 a month. Click the link in the top of the screen or in the video description to visit my online cake school. Thanks for watching!